Yo, hey, what's up guys, Remix here, and it's another video on the upcoming DLC operators for the Hong Kong DLC in the year 2, season 2. Um, th there's going to be new matchmaking, uh, where you'll be able to customize your weapons while you're searching for a game, so you don't have to go through the hassle of, once you start searching, you have to like cancel the search, go back into your loadouts, change them, come back into searching, so you don't have to do that anymore. Um, it's also going to be quicker, so you don't have to sit there for 10 minutes waiting for a game. It's going to randomly find 10 people, not just 5 for your team and then 5 for the enemies. It's going to be 10 all in one and then separate the 10 into teams of 5, obviously. And that will go from there. Um, next is the new attackers and defenders, which is um, going to be... Uh, Caltrap and Dazzler. Uh, Dazzler, I believe, is the attacker, and Caltrap is the defender. Um, both their weapons are being revealed as such in the in the files. Uh, the attacker is going to have a QBZ95, which is pretty much like a Type 95. It's kind of like the same thing as Twitch's gun, for example. It's pretty much a Type 95. Um, uh, I'm now throwing a comment saying it's not, but that's the way I see it. <laughs> um, the defenders now have a J JS9, so that's kind of like the uh, Vespa from uh, Black Ops 3, if you're familiar with that. Um, also, with the, um, the another UI change is the attackers and defenders, like when you go into buy an operator or check on the operator list, um, they've moved it from but uh, from top and bottom to side to side with the progression as well so you can see what characters you have and don't have like in the progression like bar kind of thing which is not that helpful if you have all the characters because you kind of already know but for those ca people that just started or they're still getting the characters unlocked they can see what characters they have left to get and so on and so forth um there's also been a leak on the new DLC map, so now we know it's theme park because the tactical test servers, I believe they're called, the people that got their invites to that, they only allocated five maps, and when they went to someone went to turn them off or like alter what maps they wanted to play, um, theme park was there. They could toggle that on and off, so that might be just a leftover from. When they were working on the map, they put it into the um, test servers for when they were testing it themselves, and they might have forgot about it when they invited people to play it. So, um, that was a leak on Ubisoft's part. <laughs> it was probably an accident, but you never know. It could be a um, code name for the map, but pretty sure it might be a theme park, even even though it's not that like um that like child friendly place. I could imagine it's going to be like a ran down theme park to have a hostage hidden in or something like that. Like, I, I don't know. But um, that's all we got so far, so keep you guys updated if anything else comes up. Um, so far from what I know is that uh, last video I did, it was an April Fool's prank. So, unfortunately we won't see any uh, defense operator with a shield that can survive a nuclear blast. But maybe in the future we might see that, you never know. Keep your hopes up. <laughs> anyway guys, peace out.